Teach a man to fish and he'll eat for the rest of his life. Teach a man to smoke fish and he'll feast like a proverbial king. I give you cold smoked salmon with Scotch whiskey. Scotland makes some of the world's best smoked salmon. When I was researching Project Smoke, I visited Islay Island, the epicenter of the single malt scotch industry. That's the inspiration for this whiskey smoked salmon. I have a beautiful filet of Alaskan king salmon. King, my favorite, the fattest, the richest. And I'm going to marinate it in scotch whiskey. Now remember, scotch whiskey is made with smoked barley. So it has a natural intrinsic smoke flavor. So that smoke flavor from the whiskey is going to reinforce the smoke flavor of the fish. Marinate the fish for 30 minutes in the refrigerator. Okay, so here's the salmon marinated in the scotch whiskey for 30 minutes. What you want to do is lift it up, drain that scotch whiskey off the filet, and then lay it on a wire rack over a drip pan. Blot it dry and let it air dry while you prepare the cure. Now this is your basic fish cure. In a sense, it's two parts sweetener. I'm using brown sugar. It could be white sugar. It could be sucanat. It could be maple sugar. One part sea salt and freshly ground black pepper or hot pepper flakes. And I like to mix the ingredients for the cure with my fingers to break up any lumps that may be in the brown sugar. Take a little less than half the cure and spread it on a sheet pan, roughly in the shape of the salmon filet. The idea is you're going to bury the fish and cure. Take your salmon filet, lay it on top of the cure, and sprinkle the remaining cure on top. This whole idea of curing and smoking salmon originated as a way to preserve fish before the advent of refrigeration. Today, of course, we do it for the taste. Cover the salmon with plastic wrap and cure it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. So here's the salmon after 24 hours of curing. And you can see the salt has drawn out some of the liquid. This concentrates the flavor and texture, gives cold smoked salmon its characteristic velvety texture. What you want to do at this point is rinse off the cure. And I'll just soak the salmon in a pan of cold water. Then lift the fish, drain it well, and place it back on that wire rack. Blot the salmon dry again. And you want to let it air dry for about two hours. What you're looking for, the surface will feel almost tacky, a little bit sticky. And it's that texture that allows the smoke to adhere to the fish. To cold smoke the salmon, I'm using a Bradley Digital Smoker. But the configuration's a little different than for traditional hot smoking. I have the smoke chamber here, but the smoke generator, the feed tube, the burner are all away from the smoke chamber, and they are connected by this metal tube. Now, in cold smoking, you smoke the fish, but you don't cook it. That's an essential difference, and it gives you a completely different texture and flavor than with hot smoking. So I'll just grab a rack. Then take your salmon, arrange it on the rack, and return it to the smoker. Smoking time, 12 hours. It's been 12 hours. The salmon should be ready. So open the smoker. Ah. Look at this. It looks gorgeous. Beautiful patina of wood smoke, what I call bronzing with wood smoke. Uh, remember, this is cold smoking, so I'm not burning my fingers on the hot smoker rack. 
and then I'll transfer the fish to a cutting board. And I'm just going to start to slice it. Oh my gosh, look at that. The color is stunning. You can see how moist the fish is inside. And to sample the salmon, I have a slice of smoked bread. And I'll just take some butter, spread the butter on the smoked bread. The recipe's on our website. And then a couple of pieces of smoked salmon. Mm. This is really good. Wonderful smoke flavor. The texture is soft, velvety, perfect balance of salt and sweetness. You get that little smoky iodine tang of the Scotch whiskey. Hmm.